I'm really bad with names. That's actually why I ask people, who are you at the beginning of my videos? Uh, because often I can't pronounce your names. And it's worse because I'm married to an Iranian woman and her name is like this long. <laughs> and it sounds something like, which Americans uh, have a hard time saying. But there's this new company coming from Israel called Names, which helps you learn how to say names of people who have weird and unusual names. Uh, and it's for places and other things too. So we're going to hear about that right now. So who are you? My name is Adam Gray. Um, I'm a CEO and co-founder of Names. And uh, my background is, um, I come from art, actually, and TV. I'm an um, editor and director, and um, this is actually where I, I came up with the first time uh, I saw this paint, so. Yeah, well if you're on TV a lot, and you're having to read people's names off of a teleprompter or, or off a script, it, oftentimes you can get tripped up because you, you don't problems. know how to say it. You're going to have problems. I've seen it uh, day in, day out. Um, people cursing each other out, <laughs> people going crazy, people making phone calls. Like, it's, it's a mess. Uh, I think also when you hear the name, something happens with your brain. It, it, it kind of uh, brands it in, into your head um, better. So you understand how to say the name and, and you can repeat it and, and remember it. This is the most important part. So how do you solve this problem? How do you help people remember names? Well, we built a, a web app and uh, you can uh, go there and record your name and it allows you to um, um, record your name, uh, attach it to social profiles, uh, share it, add it to your email signature and stuff like that. So you kind of can spread your name anywhere and if people look you up on the web, they can find your name pronunciation. And uh, this is not only for people, this is like for products, for uh, places. Try to imagine Volkswagen came out with a new uh, uh, truck, uh, Touareg, Touareg. I remember there was a six months, everybody was like, how the hell do I call this car? Nissan just came up with yep. a car and really they, they came out with a special video of how to pronounce the car. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, so you, you can record, so let, let's say my wife who has this weird long name yeah. <laughs> can record uh, how she actually wants it said, right? Yes, and she can attach it to her email signature and put it anywhere, I mean in her Google Plus or Facebook or, or LinkedIn or anywhere. And try to imagine uh, just scrolling through your uh, LinkedIn and seeing all these people and getting ready for meetings or for places that you're going to go. Uh, your hotel name in, in, um, in Seoul or stuff like that. We had our, uh, our uh, investors kicked out twice from a cab in the uh, Far East because they couldn't pronounce the place that they were going to. This happened like a, a month ago. Yeah, and, and it's funny. It's it's funny that it doesn't exist still. Yeah, you're uh, also building an API, so this uh, name can be attached all over the place, right? Yes, uh, we built uh, an API uh, with a uh, corporation in mind. Uh, we can cooperate with any uh, social uh, network or site, allowing their users, their own users, to we enable names for their own users, mm -hmm. uh, so they can record their own name, hear other names. Uh, try to imagine uh, dating services, try to imagine uh, business services, a conference. Um, we can um, cooperate with anyone, uh, including apps, try to imagine meetup. It's all about meeting people and coming and being able to talk. So actually it's like a social lubricant. When you don't know a name, you're embarrassed to come up to somebody. Um, it, it's a problem. Yeah. Um, how are you making this a business? Because it, it sounds like a great feature, but I'm not sure um, that you, there's a business. That's a great here. question. Um, first of all, um, I call it low-tech and high-tech uh, um, uh, monetization. Uh, in the low-tech range, try to imagine that we're building the first database in the world of names. So if you're a call center and you're calling up anyone, um, getting your foot through the door is the name. If you're going to call your, hello, Mr. Skabol, you're gonna hang up right, right there. So we can better their conversion with that. This is low tech, as I said. Uh, on the high tech end, um, once we have a, a large database, try to imagine uh, it connected to everything. Your contacts, your um, hotels, everything is, is connected. And uh, we also believe that um, we can be uh, the, the missing link for text-to-speech as well. Yeah. 
Um, tell me about uh, what's happened in the business. How are you funded? How did you fund this? Uh, we actually we launched just uh, eight days ago. I yell it, and all the blonde guys uh, and girls uh, are doing a great job. Um, our uh, we got uh, seed money from Yuval Rechavi, which he says in English is Rechavi, but in Hebrew it's Rechavi. Um, he is the investor of uh, My Heritage and Checkpoints, and now Names. So he's a good one. Uh, he's a great guy. And um, yeah. And soon we'll, we'll, we'll move on to the round A and so on and so forth. Tinanye. Very Ash. interesting company. I, th I didn't expect to see. Uh, yeah, and I know you really love uh, um, Shinji personal life experience. I mean, yeah. you're talking about how this and this talk and this and this talk, and your Tesla knows that you're inside the your real? car, but it doesn't know your oh, name, and it doesn't know the name of the of the restaurant that you're going to. And uh, all Marco will intertwine in a way when you meet somebody in the street, you can have here the name just a second before, and you can try a sit or sit. Yeah. Um, so this will connect the whole world um, under this uh, thing. Very cool. Where do we uh, learn more about it? Uh, you can go uh, to names.com, uh, check us out. Um, you can go to our Twitter, uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, we're everywhere, um, and record your name. Very cool. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you.